java roti blood sugar friendly this is part 3 of a series to test the effect of different flours on my blood sugar and find the best options for pcos and insulin resistance today i'm having two rotis made from 40 grams of jawar flour with just a little bit of ghee to isolate their impact on my glucose levels i'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor so let's check my readings after a few hours so here's what my cgm recorded My blood sugar rose by 71 mg per dl and returned to baseline in around 2 hours. With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2 and a half to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was sharp and higher than ideal. But when I had tested whole wheat rotis earlier, the spike was even steeper at 92 mg per dl, making jawar the better option between the two. In comparison, bajra roti had caused a spike of 76 mg per dl, which is very similar to jawar. So why did this happen? Jawar has a lower glycemic index and more fiber than wheat, which helps slow down glucose absorption. However, it's still a carb-dense flour, much like bajra, and can cause a significant rise in blood sugar. In the coming videos, I'll continue testing my glucose readings with some other commonly used flours to compare how they impact my blood sugar. Let me know what you think in the comments below. 